All right, today we're making book bags with stenciled designs using soft fabric paint and regular shaving cream. Make sure it's shaving cream, not shaved gel. So as you can see, this is one that's complete um, and it's a combination of pre-planned colors and unplanned combinations of colors. And I'll show you what I mean when we get into the art itself. Here's another one I did on dark and dark fabric just to see how it looked. And I like the way it looks, but obviously the colors don't pop as much because they're on a dark background. Ironing your Cricut stencil onto your canvas bag should be quick and easy. There's a matte side and a shiny side, and the shiny side's gonna reflect the light. We want the shiny side to be down against the fabric, and that's because it's got a thin layer of wax that'll adhere with the help of the iron, and then when we're done, it'll pull right off. So, I wanna center it roughly of where I want the design to be, and then get started. And this is an iron just preheated for a minute or two on a dry setting, no moisture, no steam. Whoops, oh, you can see I've got a little hanger on her there. Um, you can start anywhere, just be sure that the iron, the tip of the iron isn't getting underneath any of the little cuts on the Cricut stencil. I keep saying the word Cricut, but you guys know that um, a stencil can be made from a variety of, of ways, a, a silhouette, a Cricut, there are some other cutters on the market. I'm just using the word stent cricket because that's what we use. There you go. It's quick and easy. And if it, if you can tell you feel a little bit of resistance um, on the edge, then it's down. And the idea is it's just down enough that when you adhere, when you apply paint to it, um, the paint doesn't go underneath the edges. That's it. So what you're going to do is lay out a thin layer of shaving cream, spread it out. I use this old Toys R Us card because... I don't need it anymore. Um, make it flat, add in just a couple drops. You don't need a lot of, um, of this soft fabric paint. And it's designed to be used on fabrics and it won't crack once it's dry and it will withstand uh, machine washing um, and the dryer. So again, I just did, I'm doing a rainbow pattern. So you'll take something you don't love, like a chopstick, and just begin to make a design to begin to mix the colors like so and the idea obviously is this is a the same idea used in marbling but we're taking then I'm just gonna scoop up some color here like here I got some red and orange combined using this card and press it into the areas of the stencil that are not exposed. So I'm just gonna start with red, red and orange, work my way out rainbow-wise. Um, and then when I'm all done, I will peel it off and you'll see what we got. So I just did some red. I want some, I'm just gonna go with orange and whatever else is in there. Oh, I got some green already. I didn't do a good enough job, I think, of mixing um, yellow and orange on my, on my palette. And so you wanna think about when you're mixing your palette, there is such a thing as over mixing. <laughs> it just depends what look you're going for, obviously. But there I'm gonna get some yellow, green, and blue. And I'll just do it right here just so you see what it looks like. See, I got yellow, green, and blue because that's what was on this card. You can scrape it off as you go. There's some blue, orange, and yellow. Let's see what happens there. Heaven only knows. Well, we'll just see how it ends up. And then you just want to make sure that when you're done, all of the areas have got some paint on them. I'm going to go back and get, pick up a little more orange, but I've got a lot of orange and green mixed together, and that's... Again, I was really hoping for red, orange, and yellow, but it's all right, it's still gonna be awesome. The nice thing about this art is, again, as you saw in the example, it's a combination of pre-planned colors, so I knew I was starting with a rainbow in the example before and here, but I don't know what I'm gonna end up with. Um, the shaving cream acts as a dispersant, like once you're done here, the shaving cream just evaporates and you scrape off any remaining stuff and it won't, it won't stay on your final product. I don't want red. 
Um, but shaving cream also acts as just a good place to mix the colors as you go. It just it just provides a medium for mixing the colors. I'm gonna get some more green and blue here. And there's some blue and purple over here. And again, however you press it down. Oh, I got it a little over the edge there, which is fine, but just keep in mind that this is fabric paint. So if it goes on fabric, it is staying on fabric. Don't wear anything you don't want fabric paint on and just keep in mind if you go over the edges it's there forever I'm gonna go back to some blue and yellow there where am I gonna put that right there hmm what do I want and you want to keep from making brown ideally if, you know if you unless brown is the color you were going for to begin with in which case more power to you for making it um but if it wasn't your initial goal then um work on not making that when you mix your colors so you can see i've still got some spots here that don't have anything in them and again if i you'll note if i use a lighter a darker color over a lighter color that's the color that's going to show up um, All right, did I? Let's see, I've got some spots out here on the edges that still look like they don't have a ton of color. There's a little spot there. Looks like I'm pretty much, uh, there's a little thing there, but I'm gonna leave that. I think I got, no, there's a little dab right there. Well, we'll see. And then about half of that leaf there doesn't have anything on it. So, all right. So I've got most, oh, there's a spot there. Hang on, back we go. All right, everything look sort of covered. No, there's a spot there that's not. And you can see I've still got a lot of color left on here. It's pretty, pretty mixed up right now, but I could use it to make a second thing if I wanted to. All right, so when you've got it the way you want it and you feel like you filled in all your spots, which, ew, hang on, a little spot full of extra shaving cream right there, okay. You can leave it the way it is and let it dry a little or it doesn't really matter, or you can pull off the stencil. The way fabric paint works is it will dry relatively soon. Wow, that turned out good. Um, some spots there that I didn't fully scrape, so I'm just gonna let those dry. When they're dry, um, shaving cream sort of has the consistency of um, dehydrated foam, obviously, and it'll just scrape right off um, into the garbage can. You'll wanna wait about 72 hours before you put this in a washing machine. There's no need to wash it immediately. Once it's, once it's flat and dry, it will not um, rub off on anything on anything you own and you can begin to use it um, fairly immediately once it's dry but there you have it